What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Buckeye. Today we're going to be talking about my first impressions after about a week or so on Halo 5 Guardians. In the background I've got some, I think it's 21 and 9 gameplay on SWAT. It literally ends 50 to 49 super clutch game. It was a ton of fun to play. And so far SWAT has actually probably been my most enjoyed playlist. And that's one thing we'll go into here in a little bit is the amount of playlists in the game. In my opinion, SWAT is just a ton of fun, and right now I have like an Onyx 1680, something like that. Definitely not too shabby at the SWAT playlist. But as far as my overall thoughts in Halo 5 Guardians so far, I really, really enjoy the game. Let's put it this way. This game is an exceptional game outside campaign. Many of you guys know how the campaign goes, but as far as multiplayer goes, this game is exceptional. Yes, it is different from the traditional old Halos, but the thing is, is it's a hybrid. You know, it's not the same, but it has the same principles. Base starts, really super, super balanced palette of weapons. I mean, I cannot give 343 enough credit for the amount of balance they put into the weapons in this game. It is just absolutely incredible. Moving forward, though, the problem that I foresee happening is the fact that there are so little playlists in the game currently. Now, I get it, okay? I understand why there are not that many in there. 343 wanted to have a smaller, more balanced, more done correctly set of playlists to start the game, and I completely like that. I completely agree with that decision. Have a good launch, have people liking your game, then add the stuff on top of that as time goes on. That stuff isn't extremely needed right now, so as we move forward and people start to get a little bit stale in this content, they add the other content, but just making sure at the same time that everything works the way it's supposed to work in the first place. I completely get it. I agree with the, uh, the process that 343 is going to take. I just hope that they continue to do it well as they push forward. I hope that in the next couple of weeks they begin to add maps, they begin to add playlists, things like that. I hope that they really support this game a lot because let's just throw this out there. Xbox.com just showed today that Halo 5 is the largest launch in Halo history, selling over 400 million dollars worth in the first week. That's counting digital and physical copies as far as I know. So basically, Halo 5 is a huge success off launch. And if 343 can take that success and move forward, this game has a ton of potential. It is the number one game on Xbox Live right now, so it's got a lot of potential. The game is great, it just needs to capitalize on being great by adding more content, keeping more people interested in it. Now, here's one thing that a lot of people have been talking about is Twitch numbers. Twitch numbers for Halo 5 haven't been that spectacular. Now granted, the only real game that they're actually competing with, as far as Twitch goes, is Destiny. It's the only other console game that's actually popular on Twitch. That's really the only other game that they're actually going after. But here's the thing, Halo 5 is a brand new game and does not have established streamers that play that game consistently. The game is popular. The fact that there's not many viewers on Twitch is simply because there are not many people that usually play Halo and are established in that community, okay? Destiny took a while to get established on Twitch where it is now to consistently be in the top eight streamers every day. It's gonna take a while for Halo 5 to get up there. People that are big names in the community, Halo Follower, Ready Up Live, Team Beyond, those types of people need to start streaming to really bring up those numbers. And along with that, you gotta wait for other people to start coming into the community and consistently streaming as well. It's gonna be a process, guys. Don't be discouraged by the lower numbers off the start. The game is good, it needs to continue to be good, and will be good. But anyways, as far as first thoughts go on this game, I love it so far. It's absolutely incredible. I just hope that 343 takes the right path moving forward with this game, and I really think that they will. So anyways, guys, that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more Halo 5 and Call of Duty Black Ops 3 content. I'll see you guys in the next one.